I am grinding feed today. Um, we make all of our own feed for our cows. We grow all of our own corn, and um, unless we get in the case where we run short, we do have to buy from some of the local neighbors. But I realized it was a topic that we hadn't really covered. It was a video I hadn't really put up yet. And so I thought I would share with you what goes into our cattle so that way we can get the wholesome products out of the cattle that we have. Um, as I said, we raise all of our own corn. Um, we only really solely grow for our cattle. We don't sell much corn. And then to that we add a blend that has been produced by Hubner, um, custom blended for us by our nutritionist at Centerfield Feeds. This is a 38% crude protein. Um, it's mostly a soy base, I do believe, um, but it has some other protein matter and base in it. Um, and the 38% will then be diluted down by the corn and the other products that go into it, making our feed about an 18% when it is actually being eaten. Um, so we have about, today I'm making a full batch, which will be around two tons. So I'm putting 600 pounds of this in. And then to that I am adding um, two products that are made by Redmond. One is a conditioner. It's a vitamin mineral mix. It's good for hair, feet, um, just overall well-being, kind of like a multivitamin. Um, and this is what it looks like. I'm also adding the Redmond's um, coarse ground salt. It is practically the same thing that you buy at the grocery store if you've ever seen Redmond salt on your shelves. Um, this is kind of the consistency of the kind that's in the self grinders that you have to grind yourself. Um, we have really been pleased with these two products. We've seen a huge change in hair. Um, and for those of you that know anything about nutrition, hair and poop do not lie. If hair is pretty and their poop is good, you know their digestive tracts are working and your digestive tract is the soul complex of all health and nutrition. Um, if they are not digesting their food, if they are not absorbing their nutrients, they are not healthy animals. Um, and by using these two products, we have really seen a change in our animals and we have been very pleased with these two products. The other product that we use is a dairy mineral blend. Uh, it has our bicarb, um, so your baking soda, Alka-Seltzer type thing, helps balance out the acids in the stomach as well as adds another layer of multivitamins to the nutrition blend. So all of these items get dumped into our mixer grinder. Um, Dad went to go pick some corn today. We emptied all our wagons. We're in the process of picking. Usually it's stored in there, but we'll get it fresh out of the wagon today. So we have a Gale Mixall. Um, the thing's probably pushing 30 years old. She has earned her keep, trust me, let me tell you. We grind what feels like every day, but really it probably boils down to once a week, sometimes twice. Um, feed starts out by going into here, goes into this hopper, down inside there you can see those paddles. They spin, centrifugal force smashes them against the screen. The corn is then cracked. The minerals um, go through easily. The corn has to be cracked in order for the cows to digest it. They can't break through the cell membrane very easily. Plus cows only have top teeth, so they can't actually crunch it. Um, from there it goes into the series of augers, into this tank, which I don't think... I can get you a very good picture of it. Um, the rule of thumb is about 10 minutes to do a proper blending from start to finish. So you want to grind everything, put all your ingredients in, and then let it mix. Whoop. There's our mixer auger. So the gr grain comes up, goes up through this auger, spills out over, and then works in a churning fashion. And then on the back side of the wall, there is the auger that um, is runs off of hydraulics in order to take it out the spout, which then goes into our carts and then into our cow's mouths. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I am not going to try to get down one-handed because I know it will end unsuccessfully. Thanks again for watching.